I have been experimenting with time travel debugging for React Native and here's a quick prototype. In this demo, we will be looking at a to-do application that I picked up from hellocoding.com. We will be recording a debugging session and then replaying it with all the breakpoints and variables. Here is a task that I had pre-configured to start recording the debug session. As soon as the program is ready, I would go ahead and select Debug.js remotely from the menu. Once the app reloads, I can start clicking and performing the actions that I'd like to record. In this case, I am checking three items and adding a new one. Once I have recorded my actions, I can use the menu to go back and select Stop Debugging JavaScript. Let us now replay our actions. For this, let me start with maximizing VS Code. Let me also add a couple of breakpoints. The first one is at the place where I enter a new item. The second breakpoint is for the function that is invoked when I click the checkboxes. Let us replay the session that we just recorded. I hit this first breakpoint because in my launch configuration, I had said that I needed to stop on entry. Let's resume and hit the next breakpoint. During the debugging session, we had clicked on a checkbox first and that's the breakpoint we are hitting now. Like a normal debugging session, we can inspect variables and step through statements. In this case here, the value of data.completed is false. As I execute the next statement, the boolean value is flipped and the value becomes true. Because this debugging session has time travel enabled, I can actually step back in time and execute the previous statement. The values of the variables correspond to that previous point in time. I can continue to jump back and forth between statements and each statement represents a specific instant of time. This way, I can walk back through the entire stack trace. The demo is built on top of the Chakra JavaScript runtime engine that has support for time travel debugging. To read about the internals and how this was implemented, check out the link at the end of the video.